Hi, this is Sandra Henry Stocker, author of the Unix as a Second Language blog on Network World. In this Linux tip, we're going to look at the zip cloak command that you can use to encrypt a zip file so that it's password protected. To begin, we'll create two files, just using the man command and saving the output in file one and file two. Then I'll create a zip file called files.zip that will contain each of those files like that. Then I'm going to use the zip cloak command to encrypt files.zip. And you'll notice it asks me for a password. I have to enter the same password twice. It's encrypting the files. And if I do a file listing, you can say I have a files.zip file. And it's considerably smaller than the other two files combined. And if I remove the files, file one and file two, then all that's going to be left is the files.zip file. And then if I use the unzip command, it's going to know that that file is encrypted. And so it's going to ask me for the password. I enter it again and it gets the files back out of the file for me. So now I'm back with file one, file two, and the files.zip file. Well, that is your Linux tip for the zip cloak command. If you have questions or would like to suggest a topic, please add a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the IDG Tech Talk channel on YouTube. If you like this video, please hit the like and share buttons. For more Linux tips, be sure to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and NetworkWorld.com.